Adam, another um, dramatic game here down the Mando. It finishes 2-2 against Redditch United. Where do you start assessing that game? First of all, proud <coughs> proud of every, uh, every one of the lads tonight. Everything that could have gone against us before the game did do. Um... Just talk us through some of the changes. Robbo, Doyley, Dano... Shorey, you know, big players that yeah. weren't starting. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, and we've got a lot of games in succession. Again, a game on Saturday, a um, couple of niggles there. And, yeah, we had to j juggle the pack a bit um, for the lads to go two down with arguably one of the worst refereeing performances I've ever seen in my life. Um, bizarre at times, but but there we go. Um, we've had no help whatsoever from the so-called Southern League. We've met their own rules up as they go along. So, so yeah, so I thank them for that. Uh, thanks for all the help going into the weekend. So, well done them. Um, and that's because we were... Forced to play tonight. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone else was, um, and I don't, I don't think we had any any correspondence to say. Oh, everybody, you're allowed to do this and you're allowed to do that. I think everyone just does what they want, really. You know, um, amazing. If there's a fuel crisis, a COVID problem, that oh yes, 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 we'll we'll we'll, we'll do what you want, lads. Do what you want. So, but anyway, it's all right. We'll we'll stick that in the back pocket. Okay. So um, yeah, but thanks to them for. Um, allowing us to play tonight because what it has done it's built it's built our lads character even more confidence even more down to 10 men there um, we're only one winner you know I'm just disappointed we've not won the game in the end because we we missed a lot of clear cut chances I think we had three one on ones um, so yeah it was a cracking game and you know and before I say anything more I think you know we, we've we've played a good ready side tonight and Matt has done a an excellent job with them, as you can see. They've got some some good footballers, um, and having a very very good season. Who have who have been in, been uh, w winning lots of games lately. So um, so yeah, I thought all in all they they made um, a good football match. Like I said, spoiled by some silly silly yellow cards really from the referee, which didn't really need to happen. Yeah, and it's almost like a repeat of the Hendersford where we were 2 0 down, but the only difference is we just didn't find the winner tonight. But again, the fans sticking behind the lads even at 2 0, and you can see the belief with everyone in the ground. Yeah, you, you, you could just see it. Um, yeah, <laughs> that what they are, they're, they're a different gravy at the minute, the fans. Um, you know, even it's easy to be quiet, especially at 2 0 down. Um, but they pushed us on, pushed us on, pushed us on, pushed us on a little bit more, and and the massive for us that they're as much as any any player in our um, in our team in in in, in what they do. So um, so yeah, so I'm I'm thinking again, you know, it, it's quite emotional at the minute. Obviously, you know, in in in, in um, how we've how we've come back and um, certainly drew the game and, and, and we should have won it, to be fair. But, you know, in the grand scheme of things before the game, it's another point in the gate in the, on the board and I'd have, I'd have probably have taken that. If you think think the lads that we've got sat in the stand and, and, and lads who have gone in there and played in some alien positions. So, um, so yeah, and you know what? We can all be proud of ourselves and, and we can go and look forward to playing the best best non-league club in the country away from home so and I'm pleased for the for our supporters that, that can go there have a, have a great day out and um, hopefully we can uh, do ourselves justice and just before we move on to Saturday just to stress the kind of side we finished with with Robbo out and Jake getting yellow carded after 80 uh, sent off after 80 minutes we, we finished that game without a centre back and we're still pushing on for a winner weren't we that was the belief amongst the players on the pitch yeah and, and that's how how I manage, how we, you know, what we're about. You know, I, I'm, I'm not not settling for for draws when when we don't need to because I thought we we're dominating the football. You know, like I said before the game, we took a point really against the side who were buoyed by a three 0 win at, at the weekend um, and, in, and in good form. You know, given on, on on what I said regarding our situation before the game. So <clears throat> so yeah, like, like I said, it's. One thing we do, we're always high on entertainment, high on drama, and for me, that's how the game should be played. And um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed that football match tonight. 
And now finally, on to Notts County away. Over 800 away tickets sold. What, um, you know, a proud moment for you to lead them boys out, um, your own club, and, and see that amount of support behind you and, and everyone. You must be feeling proud already. I yeah. know you're not there for the day out, but... No, no, yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, it'll be, you know, we know the pitch is fantastic. The stadium is fantastic. Um, but I think, you know, us as a group and as a football club, you know, from... From chairman all the all the way down, um, we can go there and um, I can't relax, but but they, they they'll probably be able to um, and 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 enjoy themselves. But you know, as I spoke about, you know, it, it's it, it's a big football match. Um, nobody gives us a chance. Um, we know, like I said, they're the best team in in in, in non-league football. So filled with with stars and everything else so um so yeah so we'll um we'll look forward to that between now and then